One of the first questions I get asked a lot by new players is, you know, I've just finished the Mines of Glooming Deep. Where do I go? Where do I hunt? What do I do? Well, here's a character I have that's only level 13 and just got out of mining's, Mines of Glooming Deep. Well, actually been out here a little while. First place you want to go when getting out of there after you come out of here, where is where you'll come out. You want to go to your guild master, buy some spells or whatever, get some supplies. Then come out right here and go up a little bit past this little bridge to this area. And try to fight these things like the bears, the puma, the drakes. They're all right around level 10, 11. And uh, they're pretty easy. They're not social, meaning you can pick them off one and at a time and the other one won't come and attack you. This is a very safe place. As long as you stay away from the river and that side there, that can be dangerous over there because the gnolls have a shaman and sometimes they uh, have a, the skeletons that come down there. So it can be dangerous. And sometimes you'll see a high level player out here helping new players. So uh, you can always join her guild if you want to. She seems like a nice person, so there's a lot of recruiting going on out here too, so keep that in mind. So what you want to do is you want to come up here after you get past these other low-level mobs. And this area, you should be around 12, 13 or so. Try to hunt these alligators. They're pretty easy. And keep an eye out on the other side because that's a skeleton area. Sometimes skeletons end up coming over here, so you have to be careful. Or sometimes players pull them over here, they try to run for it back to the guards and there's a whole train of skeletons coming and, and they'll knock you out. If you're a little lower and there's no mobs here, you can go into the caves I just showed you. But you want to go into this second cave and uh, hunt in there is the bear cave. So right now, find anything that is blue. You don't want to go much higher depending on what your class is or how well you're geared. This character I have here is kind of geared well because he's a slightly twink but I, I want to use him for uh, demonstration purposes but your character will probably do the same thing if you have a full set of armor and at the same time you're here try and raise skills like defense and offense because you will level very very fast and the danger is is that you'll level too fast and your skills won't be up to snuff so to say so you can see right here I'm almost to level 14 and uh, I'm going to show you my skills right now. And the skills, I've done a pretty good job in the mines of Glooming Deep to max them out. And you want to see something like this when you come out. Uh, it's important to have the defense and offense max because defense gives you more armor class. It makes you harder to hit and reduces the damage you take. Offense allows you to hit the enemy. It raises your attack rating. Uh, other things like on a caster, like also you have your weapon skill, I shouldn't forget. That's important. Also, casters, you want channeling, and your uh, whether you, if you're a wizard, you want evocation. Some of them have alteration. You want to raise those spells, skills before you come out here. So just stay out here, hunt these guys. See, he's blue. Um, some people try to hunt uh, higher level monsters, for example, a white, and that's okay if you can take it with less downtime. But what happens when you fight something bigger is you experience more downtime, meaning it is slower to recover after each fight. And it makes you less efficient. So it's better to fight just blues because you could kill two blues in the time it would take you to kill a white. And that's more efficiency. Anyway, we'll look at the next part where we're going to go into the bear caves. Now this area is known as the Bear Caves in Crescent Reach. The nice thing about this Bear Cave is that none of the bears are social. They don't hit very hard. They're, they have very low resistances. They're easy to kill and they're really, really good experience. And you can get good uh, armor off of them too, like Defiant Gear. As you can see there, look at that. I can just uh, stick him right there. No problem at all. I, I can root him without a, a worry at all. 
and just uh, nuke them down there. In fact, you wouldn't even need a mercenary in some cases. But by all means, use the mercenary because he'll make you much more efficient. And right there, you see I got a crude defiant breastplate. This is a nice item. You could sell it for a couple platinum if you wish. Or if you were a plate wearing class, this would be a nice addition to have because it's level 10 and higher. Meaning it would probably be slightly better than the armor you got in the Glooming Deep. So just keep going through here and work your way deeper and deeper until the mobs are no longer blue. You want to uh, stay away from yellow or anything higher. And there is one named uh, monster in here named Bear. His name is uh, something or another. It starts with an M, but you'll see him later on. And uh, I wouldn't mess with him because even though he may be yellow to you or white, he hits way, way harder, and he has much more hit points. So just make sure that he's a blue, or if you're going to take him at an earlier level, that you're very, very confident in what you're doing, and you know your well-geared or your defense-offense skills are at the max. So here's another blue one. I have a choice of yellow, blue. Take the blue by all means. And you see, look at how fast they go down. Just uh, like three nukes, and he's dead. And you know you could you could gain one level in about an hour in here, and you want to stay in here to as long as you can. Maybe about level 17 would be good. When the lowest level mob starts turning light blue, that's time for you to move on and to get out of this place here, because if the, they're too low in color, the leveling is going to be really really slow. Even though you can kill them really fast. But just stay here. Also see what I'm doing. I'm coming in and meleeing him. Try to do that so that you raise your defense skill at the same time. When they're low on health, you could sacrifice about 25% of your health, depending on if you have a healer or not, to raise these skills up. It's a great time because later on the monsters are going to start uh, proccing poison or they're going to hit really hard. And doing this is going to be very, very dangerous. So... Venture further down the cave, and you will see Blood Maul. That's the one he was. That's his name. I forgot. Anyway, Blood Maul is the one where he's yellow like the vicious bears, but he hits way harder. He has way more hit points. Don't mess with him until you're you're ready to do it. And in this case right here, these bears are so wussy that I'm just coming in and meleeing them. And I want to raise the uh, weapon skill a little, the attack and make sure defense is maxed out and it's safe to do it if he were to get me down to 75 percent health i would just root him again back up and uh, nuke him because i don't have a healer here and i don't want to have too much downtime but at the same time as you can see looking at the skills i really 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 want to raise those skills look at that defense raised twice now for each point of defense your armor class raises i think about an average of two points so if you look at a piece of armor and if it has 10 hit 10 armor class on it and you raise the defense five points that's like getting a piece of armor that raises your armor class 10. so it's something you should really really work on uh, at all times when it is safe and look at this you got some more look at more defiant stuff the defiant stuff drops like candy you also want to keep an eye out for things like high quality bear skin they sell for decent money on barter, uh, not so much at the vendor, but they're good cash items. And from here, you stay in here. You don't want to go out there. I'll show you on the map here. Just stay here. You can conceivably you could be here to level 20 or higher, but the problem is is you're going to go into the skeleton area, and those skeletons will all help each other. And sometimes some of them are nasty casters up there. So I'd stay out of there. Instead, I would go to Blightfire Moors go right around here and zone out to there. So after you've gone through Blightfire Moors in the front, you'll see a Plane of Knowledge book, not shown here, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You come into Plane of Knowledge, you're going to be coming in at Crescent Reach at this stone right there. First thing you should do is visit this guy named Keith uh, something. I can't see his name, but you, you'll see him. He's right in front of you. Visit him because he sells items from 5 to 49. Every five levels you go up, he's going to offer a new item that's even better than the last one. For example, if you look at his list here, 
I have in there this item called crude something or another. It's a um, it's a necklace there, and I have the earring too. And you can take a look at the necklace here. And I had already bought this, so if you're coming out, you may not have bought this. But if you look at the stats, it's very very nice. It also has improved healing focus on it, which uh, improves your healing. Is a, a earring I have. That's very nice too. So come in here and buy as many of these items as you can. I would focus on the ears and the rings, uh, the neck piece later possibly, whichever ones you need to fill in. Because when you're in the mines of gluing deep, you're not going to be getting r too many rings or earrings. So that's important to get. And they have two kinds. They have the one for the fighter melee class and one for a caster class. Make sure you don't buy the wrong one. Uh, I've done that before, and sometimes there's two versions of it. So make sure you have the correct one that boosts the skill that you need. Finally, the next thing you need to do is you need, if you're a caster, you need to go up to the Plane of Knowledge Library and buy spells. And this is how you go there. You go this way. You can just keep your map open. Go like this. And by the way, these guys here, you can change your mercenary if you'd like. By dismissing yours and rehiring, but in general they're the same, I notice. There's not a great difference. Uh, they seem the same to me. Of course, some look cooler than others. And you can get one that matches you. For example, if you're a dwarf or an erudite, might as well get something that matches. Then I would go up the stairs here. And we're almost there and head straight ahead. You'll see where you're on the map. This is how you get to the spell section. Now you see over there on the map, it's conveniently marked. I have the wizard section and the shadow knight section. Some are on different levels than others. Just go on in there and make sure if you're a caster that you have your latest spells. Because it makes a huge difference. You could be out there and a spell may, be doing, may do 25% more damage if it is at your correct level versus using an old spell. That depends on the class, of course. Anyway, you can see where you can buy no, uh, tomes, melee tomes and all that. We're going to go down here. And here we go. And it's that frog guy over there. And of course, I'm since I played an enchanter so much, I keep going the wrong way. <laughs> and I'm used to going over there. And, uh, and I just got confused. I forgot I'm on a, a wizard right here. So... You'll get used to this place. You'll figure out the layout, and uh, you'll know where to go. And there we go. He's right there. So go to him, and you can sort on the right if you'd like to sort by level. Buy the spells that are most important. Read them over very, very carefully. In this case, I have enough money, so I just buy everything. But if you're a little short on money, make sure you get the ones. Like some spells are redundant, or in this case... You may have an area of effect spell like this. You may not want that because the, the uses are somewhat limited. If you're only fighting one mob at a time, it's not the spell you want to use. But at level 12, some spells that are important are Bind Affinity right there. Shield Skin may be important. Um, you can skip these ones uh, called the lesser uh, ones that are right below it. Here we go. Shield Skin. Yeah, buy it. But these other ones that sense the traps and all, they're for Eldon missions. You may not need that. And uh, you can save yourself some money. See, there we go. It uh, detects a trap. Uh, you don't need things like uh, identify, project lightning. It's an uh, area of effect around you. I mean, I would probably skip this unless you are doing a lot of AoE work. But at this level, if you use those kind of spells, it's likely to get you killed. Okay, folks, I hope this helps you. This covers out of Crescent, Re out of Mines of Glooming, Glooming Deep into Crescent Reach and the beginning part of Blightfire Morris. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.